Hi, my name is John Korn, he, him pronouns. I'm a 22 year old college graduate from UC Berkeley, born and raised in Los Angeles, California, and I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, dermatosporaxis, or also commonly known as EDS type 7C. It is a collagen-based disorder that in the simplest terms makes my skin very prone to bruises, injuries, and tears. EDS 7C is one of the rare versions of EDS and I am only one of around 15 people in the entire world that have this disorder. I'm always unsure of the exact number of people, but this is an extremely small group. I was born about eight weeks premature in an emergency C-section. I spent 100 days in the NICU right after my birth. I was properly diagnosed around four to six months after my birth, when the hospital sent blood and tissue samples to Dr. Peter Byers at the University of Washington who is one of the leading researchers in collagen-based disorders. Dr. Byers clearly identified that I had tangled collagen and was lacking the cutting enzyme that is normally used to create proper lengths of collagen, which tighten the skin. From that point forward, it was clear that I had Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, dermatosporaxis. And a few months later, I was officially confirmed with a new genetic test. I'm extremely lucky to be diagnosed shortly after birth and not spend my whole life wondering what is wrong with me. Life with EDS is very hard. I am always at risk of an injury that can be very bad and put my life on hold. My skin is so fragile that literally anything, even friction from sitting on a couch, can injure me. I like to say to people with normal skin that a bruise on your skin would be equivalent to a skin tear on mine. I think of my skin like paper, and no one really understands that. Even doctors sometimes don't get that risk, which is why I always have to be on a high alert and be my own best advocate. I remember having a small surgery a few years ago, and in the operating room, the doctor had to shift my body around, and in that process of moving me, he created a bigger tear than the surgery itself. Even doctors who think they are handling me with the best care can tear my skin. Only my immediate family and myself really understand how sensitive my skin is and the risk I am at every day when I try to live a normal life. It gets tiring having to always be on to keep myself safe. Growing up during my life, I had a personal nurse shadow me around every day from preschool up until my high school graduation to keep me safe from injuries. But now that I am older and I've lived by myself through college, I have learned how to better manage my EDS 7C on my own. For me, the best way to manage EDS 7C is to be realistic and advocate for yourself. Ever since I was young, I always knew I couldn't do certain activities or play sports with friends because it was too risky. I always had to weigh the risk of the activity with the chance of getting injured and decide if getting injured and all that would follow was worth it. And spoiler alert, it never was. I just graduated from college this month with a BA in political science. My college experience is the best illustration on how I have managed life with EDS 7C. This was the first time ever that I was on my own with no nurse or family to help me. I got academic and living accommodations to help reduce some stress, but it didn't eliminate all of my problems. I had to do some things differently in order to handle myself and EDS. For example, I had to look out for myself more in big crowds. I consciously walked bigger with my arms out to give myself more space to hopefully avoid people running into me and knocking me down. I avoided stairs as much as possible because it is very hard to climb stairs. I used adaptive devices in my apartment for cleaning and cooking. And at night, I walked with the flashlight to avoid tripping. These are some of the small things I did, but ultimately I had to change my behavior in order to be successful in life. I knew no one knew about EDS at a 30,000 person university. So I had to be the one to look out for myself. I also manage my EDS by making sure that I do things that bring me joy, like drumming, songwriting, and watching baseball. I am an avid Boston Red Sox fan and have been drumming for over 12 years. Drumming is very hard on my hands, but like everything I do in life, I have changed, like everything I do and everything I do in life, I've changed the way I drum and use adaptive devices to be able to play this instrument. It's all about knowing yourself and changing your environment to best fit your needs. To close, the theme of my life and the best advice I can give anyone with a disability is to be your own best advocate and learn to use your voice. 
take time to learn about yourself, your limits, and your desires. The more you know about yourself, the more you will know what you will need in order to be successful. All my successes in life have come from me knowing when to be vocal about my needs and when to ask for help. I know that I have to be more mature than everyone else around me. I'm not afraid to risk losing friends or being seen as weaker when asking for help because I know any accommodations I need is to ensure that I can thrive in an environment that doesn't value disabled people. Being your own best advocate is truly the only way to ensure you or anyone else with a disability can survive and thrive. Thank you very much.